What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today I want to talk to you about how good is your nail on the wall compared to an actual blade balancer. So I've got a blade that's pretty unbalanced and we're gonna put it on the wall on the nail and I'm gonna show you on an actual blade balancer what the difference is. So here I have a brand new blade. Now even though it's a brand new blade, it is completely out of balance. And I just wanted to show y'all that I can hang it on this nail all day long and it's always, it shows that it's, as you see, pretty level. So we're gonna take this blade and we're gonna put it on an actual blade balancer and I'm gonna show you exactly how bad this blade is off. Now keep in mind that just like anything else, this is like a wheel. So when this is spinning under your mower deck, any vibration you are getting is probably from your blade being unbalanced. Once you balance these, you will find that your mower runs a lot smoother. So we're going to let go of this and I'm going to show you on the nail on the wall, it was level. Well, once we let go of this, as you can tell, this side is heavier than this side. So what's that mean? Well, what that means is, is this has more weight on it, just like a wheel, certain part before they put up uh, the little weights on your wheel. And once this is spinning around and around, this vibration starts getting worse and worse. The more it becomes out of balance, the more vibration you're going to get, okay? So this is why I recommend not using a nail and getting an actual blade balancer. Now, I've seen these for as low as $50 on uh, eBay and things of that. You can buy a brand new one of these for around $100. This is the Oregon one. You can get one also that uh, is the magnetic one. The Oregon one does just fine. It's gonna show you that once you take this out and take some of that off and start actually sharpening this blade and, and everything, that it's gonna become more balanced and you're gonna notice less vibration in your mower. So I hope this helps with the nail on the wall versus an actual blade balancer because you could be balancing your blade with the nail on the wall. And as you've seen, it said it was pretty level there. And then when you put it on your mower, you're getting some vibration. Well, to get that vibration completely out, go and get you an actual blade balancer or one of the, the cone style ones. That's gonna help a little bit more than a nail on the wall is, and they're real cheap. Sharpen your blade, find out which side's got the heavier, you know, is heavier. Uh, and then take some more off of that side until you get it pretty level and you are going to notice that a lot of the vibration you have in your mower, regardless of whether it's commercial or residential, is going to go away. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.